in Memphis. This is News Channel 3 at 5. We begin with breaking news tonight on your news leader. Three children are in critical condition and one adult is injured following a four car crash at Mount Moriah and Parkside. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Shay Arthur. This crash happened just before four this afternoon. The investigation is ongoing. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. And a man is dead following a shooting. This happening in Highland Heights. Memphis police say that violence took place off Pope Street, and that's where we find our Alan Self. Alan, you've been there on the scene for several hours now. What have you learned? Jay, according to witnesses, the shooting happened inside this Pope Street grocery store earlier today. The scene has drastically changed since we've been here initially. It was bustling with police activity, crime scene tape, and multiple officers. However, the tape has been removed. Police and the store owner, known locally as G, closed the store and departed shortly after. A witness to the shooting, who wishes to remain anonymous, described to us what he saw. He says two teenage boys were in the store concealing guns under their arms before ambushing and killing another teenage victim. The witness believes the gunmen were aware the victim was approaching the store and deliberately targeted him, shooting him dead as he was shopping for ice cream. Moments ago, I spoke with a resident outside the store saying he was not surprised by what happened. He said he used to live next door to the grocery store but moved because of the gun violence. What made you move? I moved because of stuff like that. I got five girls and three boys. Mm -hmm. And we hit, they, we hit gunshots every night. Yeah, that's every other night. Would you sit on the porch? Have you hear that every day, every night? The thing is, is people that's doing a lot of shooting and killing folks, they ain't getting caught. That's the problem I have with, I have a problem with that. According to police, the victim and suspects knew each other. So far, no one has been charged in this case. For your news leader in Highland Heights, I'm Alan Self, WREG News Channel 3.